Hey, what's up guys? It's Sov. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about the second artifact set that was officially announced by MiHoYo. Yes, I know it was previously leaked, but we now have official numbers, we have official names and everything and more. Today, we're going to talk about who we're going to be using the Shimanawa's Reminiscence on and who's going to benefit most from the two-piece and the four-piece set. Maybe a little confusing when you look at it first sight, but it all comes into play as we go into it later on in the video. So make sure you stick around all the way to the end. But before we get started, be sure to like the video. If you guys like the video, it ensures that you get a five star on your next roll. <laughs> it works, trust me, it, it works. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, also make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so we did do a previous video on the Emblem of Severed Fate. If you guys didn't see that, check the iCard above if you want to see everything about that artifact set and more. Also, there will be a link down in the description box below. So today we're talking about Shimanawa's Reminiscence. This artifact set is... Uh... Not too bad, all right? There are some positives here. There's some huge gains, and we're going to talk about that in a moment. The fourth piece set is kind of very particular when it comes to what characters you're going to be able to use it on. So let's go into the details here. As we can see on the screen from the live stream, it is 18% attack boost for the two-piece. If you guys know anything about the Gladiator set, it's the exact same for the two-piece set. And then the four-piece set is when casting an elemental skill. If a character has 15 or more energy, they lose 15 energy. And normal charge plunging attack damage is increased by 15% for 10 seconds. Now, you may be asking yourself, why would I want to spend my own energy just to boost my normal damage? <laughs> Look, look, all right, there's only a few characters that I can think of off the top of my head that could possibly use this, but let's go into the two-piece set first, and let's talk about that, all right? Here we go. The two-piece set, first of all, let's look at this a little bit. Does Isn't this a nice-looking set? Look at, oh, yes, it's beautiful. So when it comes to the two-piece set, you have 18% attack boost. Now, 18% attack boost is a nice boost to have, and a lot of people can utilize this. One of the main people that I personally need this for is Xiao. Xiao, my boy. His best in slot set is two-piece Glad, two-piece Veridescent. However, we all know the issues of farming the Gladiator set. The Gladiator set is the most expensive, well, one of the two most expensive sets to farm in this game. And previously, before recent updates, it would cost you a minimum of 40 resin. Now, your first three tries, it's a minimum of 30. But after that, it's 40 for the rest of the week. So, a two-piece set just to get a good 18% attack boost for two pieces that you could use on top of getting the right RNG for one of two artifact sets that could drop for that. You also have to hope you get the right RNG for the right substats to level up. And if you're anything like me where you have horrible RNG when it comes to artifacts, you still to this day do not have proper glad sets for pretty much anyone. I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't have a proper glad set for Xiao. He's still hurting. He does not have a two-piece glad set, so he's running a four-piece Veridescent still. Uh, it's I'm missing out on some damage, for sure. Now, with the recent updates to Swirl and uh, the um, Elemental Mastery buffs, uh, you know what? It, it's not so bad anymore. However, I think still best in slot is that two-piece glad, so I've been hunting for that. But now... We don't have to do that anymore. Now we have a way to farm something for 20 res. I love that. This is going to be great for so many characters that use two-piece glad with a two-piece elemental set. I am ecstatic about this. I'm really glad that they are fixing this because it needed some fixing. And this also complements one of the newer characters coming out. The elephant in the room. Let's go ahead and bring her up. Yoi Mia. Oh my god, you owe me a five star Pyro Bo user. Her kit is very interesting, kind of reminiscent to another character, which we're going to talk about with her and this artifact set. Now, the artifact set, let's take a look at it. 
aesthetically, we can see, yes, this is possibly made for her. Why? Because it's Yoimiya, and she's a five-star, and she needs new artifacts for her. Look at this. Yeah, looks great. So, let's go ahead and look at her kit a little bit. So, her E is seems like is where she's going to get the bulk of her damage, and her ult, burst ult, whatever you want to call it, is going to supplement the rest of her kit, and awesome off screen damage or off field damage as well kind of like how child marks uh, i guess i don't want to say it's exactly like that but it might be similar all right so what we're doing here she has an e that allows her to do all her normal attacks become pyro basically for 10 seconds with a cooldown of 18 seconds this is useful if you're using this four piece set on her now, if you're using her E as her main damage source as a burst damage dealer, which kind of makes her almost like a main damage dealer at this point, you're going to sacrifice your energy. So you're going to probably ult and then hit her, like get a little bit of energy and then E and then go ahead and move forward with her damage sequence, which is going to be normal or auto attacking to get out a significant amount of damage. You're going to get this 18% attack boost. And then on top of that, a 50% damage boost, 18% attack, and then 50% damage for 10 seconds, which if you look at how long her, the duration of this is, it is 10 seconds for her E. So that kind of works together. After you, after the cooldown, you probably take her off the field and do some other stuff and put her back on the field to get a little bit of energy. So energy, she's not going to need a lot of energy, to be honest with you, since she's going to be cannibalizing 15% of her energy to take care of this. And then while you cannibalize that 15 energy, which sounds, it could seem like a lot, but it's kind of not, especially if you're doing a lot of pyro damage with your normal attacks, you're going to make up that energy back with every single hit, I think. I don't know. I, um, I don't know. It doesn't say that she doesn't get energy from this. Right? Yeah, it doesn't say that she doesn't gain energy like this. Like, on Xiao's kit, it says he does not generate energy from his E during his ult. So, this doesn't necessarily say that she doesn't gather energy at this time from this. So, it's very possible that she'll gain energy from each normal attack that hits if it's infused by Pyro. I could be wrong, but for now, I'm going to assume that. <laughs> I'm not saying it's right, but let's assume. So I don't think energy is going to be an issue here. So this four piece is going to work on her kit perfectly fine. And I think it's going to do wonders. Now, is there anybody else? Well, maybe Tartaglia. He has a little bit of a cooldown issue on his E. We all know that by this point. But could he use this? Yes. Are there better artifact sets for him? Possibly. Um, we already know the best in-slot artifacts for him. Um, everybody knows the numbers on Tartaglia. He can do big PP damage if you built on the right way and if you use him as a burst damage dealer with his E. So he has a lot of damage potential currently already. Will this maximize his damage even more? I don't know. I don't power scale here. and I don't do the calculations. Somebody might do it. Somebody probably already has. You could look that up yourself. For the time being, it could possibly work. But to be honest with you guys, I think that the only person so far that will be able to 100% guaranteed benefit from the four piece set is Yomiya. And you know what? That's fine. Because at least we are getting a two piece set here that is going to be usable on most characters that you want to use for DPS. Let's be honest. And you can farm it. It's, it's a lot easier to farm. And we're gonna have a good time, guys. We're being able to get we're finally gonna be able to get those two piece attack percent ups that we've all been missing. Well, I can't say all, but definitely me and people like me that have horrible artifact RNG. So the time has come where we finally can finish some of our builds that we haven't been able to finish for weeks or maybe months now. But you know what? That's gonna be the end of this video. Let me know who you think will benefit the most from the four piece set other than Yomiya. All right, I'd really like to know your thoughts on that. I know I probably missed somebody, but it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like. Also subscribe so you don't miss any future videos on this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.